Adoptee deported from U.S. criticizes Korean government and adoption agency over lack of citizenship. Associated Press Adam Bleepser, an adoptee who was deported to South Korea in 2016 because his American parents never secured his citizenship, delivered a scathing denunciation of the Korean government and his adoptio. N agency in a Seoul appeals court on Wednesday. The 49-year-old's years-long legal battle highlights the systemic failures by both governments to sec. Your citizenship for potentially thousands of Korean children adopted into U.S. Homes over the past decades. Below are your comments. We adopted our child from another country. Even though the two countries have an agreement that the adoption automatically proved that my child W. As a U.S. citizen, other adoptive parents still advised us to refile the U.S. citizen once we brought OU. Our child home. We did, and it was a simple process. A few. See more. This is where we need changes in our immigration laws. If someone was brought into the U.S. As an infant or a young child and raised in the U.S. As a citizen, they should not be subject to this sort of deportation. It's unfair and cruel. This is such a sad story. My heart goes out OT this young man and all the others that have been affected by the American and K. Orion governments as well add the agencies responsible for this. I don't know why the parents did not know they had to file for citizenship following the legal adopt. Ion. Adoptees arrive with a green card. It's a no-brainer. Adoption can proceed after about six months. Next step is citizenship. The agency does not follow up on citizenship. That is a parental responsibility that is greatly encouraged. I did a quick search on his guy. Both pair of families that adopted him were charged with child abuse. Dot. He grew up alone in the U.S. He had three domestic violence charges which disqualified him for a green card. On a related note, in 2000, the U.S. passed the 2000 Child Citizenship Act. In short, the act allows adopted people to apply for citizenship on their own as long as they meet a few criteria. This law only affect adoption after 2000 or adopted of kids born after 1982, meaning they were a minors when the law passes. So, the current situation is better. This guy was unlucky to be born a few year early for that law. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.